वेलकम टू आवर चैनल विजय टेक्नोलॉजी आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज ओ एस आई मॉडल फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन ओ एस आई मॉडल इज ओ एस आई मॉडल स्टैंड्स फॉर ओपन सिस्टम इंटरकनेक्शन मॉडल सेकंड पॉइंट इज वेसाइ मॉडल डिफाइन्स हाउ डेटा इज transferred from one computer to another computer third point is Third point is the OSI model is a logical and conceptual model that defines. network communication used by system open to their connection connection and communication with other system with other system fourth point in osi model is the osi model can be seen as a universal language for communicating it is based on the concept of it is based on the concept of splitting up a communication system system into seven abstract layers each one stacked upon the last on the last fourth point in osi model is the osi model can be seen as a universal language for communicating it is based on the concept of splitting of a communication system 
into seven abstract layers each one stacked up on the last fifth point in OSI model is the OSI model also defines a logical network and effectively describes computer packet transfer using various layers of protocols so fifth point in OSI model is the OSI model also defines a logical network and effectively describes computer packet transfer by using various layers of protocols next point in OSI model is history of OSI model first point in the late 1970s the OSI conducted program to develop general standard and methods of networking. Methods of networking in 1973 an experiment packet system in the UK Identify the requirement for defining the higher level protocols. The higher level protocols in 1973 an experiment packet system in the UK identified the requirement for defining the higher level protocols in the year 1984 the OSI architecture was formally adopted by ISO as an international standard international standard so this is the history of OSI model in the late 1970s the OSI conducted a program to develop general standard and methods of networking 
in 1973, an experiment packet system in the UK identified the requirement for defining the higher level protocols. In the year 1984, the OSI architecture was formally adopted by ISO as an international standard. Next point in OSI model is characteristics of OSI model. Characteristics First characteristics of OSI model is a layer should only be created where the definite levels of abstraction are needed. Definite levels of abstraction are needed. So, this is the first characteristic of OSI model. A layer should only be created where the definite levels of abstraction are needed. Second, the function of each layer selected as per the internationally standard protocols. Internationally standard protocols. Second is second characteristics the function of each layer selected as per the internationally standard protocols. Third characteristics of OSI model is at the same time it should be small enough so that architecture doesn't become very complicated doesn't become very complicated third characteristics of OSI model is at the same time it should be small enough so that architecture doesn't become very complicated Fourth character takes a OSI model is every layer should be able to provide services to the to the next higher level next higher layer fourth characteristics of OSI model is every layer should be able to provide services to the next higher level fifth characteristics of OSI is change 
changes made in one layer should not need changes in other layers other layers fifth characteristics is changes made in one layer should not need changes in other layers so these are the characteristics of osi model next point in osi model is layers of osi model in that osi model is a layered architecture system system in which each layer is defined defined according to a specific function function to perform osi model is layered architecture system in which each layer is defined according to a specific function to perform first layer is upper layer upper layers in that it deals with application issues and mostly implemented only in the software upper layers it deals with application issues and mostly implemented only in the software in this layer communication from to end user to another begins by using the application layer in this layer communication from one to end user to another begins by using the application layer so this is the upper layer so osi model which deals with the application issues and and mostly implemented only in the software in this layer communication from one to end user to another begins by using the application layer next is second layer of osi model is lower layers
these layers handle activities to related to activities related to data transport these layers handle activities related to data transport in that the physical layer and and data link layer also implemented in software and hardware the physical layer and data link layer also implemented in software and hardware upper and lower layers further divide network architecture into seven different layers as below architecture into seven different layers as below upper and lower layer further divide network architecture into seven different layers as below first is first is application layer first layer is application layer second layer is presentation layer third layer is session layer fourth layer is transport layer layer is network layer sixth layer is data link layer and seventh layer is physical layer so these are the seven layers of poisson model first is application layer second is presentation layer third is session layer fourth is transport layer fifth is network layer sixth is data link layer and seventh is physical layer so so in today's video i was explaining you about what is poisson model so to learn more about the Seven layers of OSI model. Please do watch my videos on YouTube. And please do subscribe our channel, Vijaytech Numbers. Please subscribe and share my channel, Vijaytech Numbers.